Hi everyone, my name is Carmen Jessup. I'm one of the teen librarians at the East Columbia branch of the Howard County Library System. I understand that you are moving up to middle school. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. Congratulations. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about friendships and how they will play an important part in your success as a middle schooler. Now, normally I would be having this conversation with you in person, um, but under the circumstances with COVID-19, I just wanted to hop on here and just share a few of my, the things that I've learned um, in working with hundreds of middle schoolers over the years at the library. Now, now more than ever, it's going to be important for you to have your squad, your people, your crew, your besties um, as a very positive support system moving um, into the new school year. We're going to be working at home um, and it's going to be very important that you have people that you can really count on during this sometimes challenging time. Middle school is a time of great transition. Your teachers are going to be counting on you more and more to take more responsibility, take more responsibility for your homework assignments and doing more things for yourself as opposed to relying on other people such as your parents to monitor what you're doing every moment and telling you what to do. So with that added responsibility, it's going to be important to have um, a good support system in place um, with, with positive friends who um, share similar values as you and who also find that these things are also very important. So um, although you're at home and you're not seeing your friends um, from day to day, um, it is going to be important to have those people around you so that if, say, you don't understand something that your teacher covered in class or you just want to vent and you want to get those things um, you know, off your chest, that it's important to have um, those people around you that you can connect with um, on a daily basis or on a regular basis um, to help you through um, the school year. So it's also going to be important for you to stay connected with your friends. And that is going to involve some creativity as you know most of you will be at home. So I encourage you to text, video chat, have a socially distant meetup of some kind. Maybe you go for a walk in the neighborhood with one of your friends. Of course, don't forget your mask. Um, video gaming together, things like that. Um, whatever you can do to um, keep in touch with your friends and be there for one another during, um, during the school year when you can't physically be with them in the classroom starting in the fall. It would be impossible for me to have a video about friendships in middle school and not cover the topic of drama. Yes, drama, middle schoolers. It's unavoidable at times, but I, I highly suggest that um, in your crew of people that I talked about earlier, your squad, your besties, that you avoid those people that bring a lot of drama into your life, especially during this pandemic and moving into the school year um, socially distant from people. By dramatic people, I'm talking about those that make you cry, people that make you angry, that talk about you behind your back, that um, act like your friends, um, but they're really not, who get into a lot of trouble. Um, who else am I talking about? Um, people that like to fight um, and encourage you to do things that you know that your parents or your family would not be happy about. Uh, people like that. I would steer very clear um, from people like that. Um, 
I think in the long run, it's going to make you happier to surround yourself with people that lift you up when you're feeling sad or when you're feeling stressed um, and offer support um, and, you know, avoid those people that um, are and surround yourself with people that are going to, you know, celebrate all of your victories and, and make you feel good about yourself. Um, that's going to be really important um, as you make your way through the new school year um, and middle school in general. So to recap, friendships in middle school. One, you want to uh, surround yourself with a positive crew, squad, besties um, that are going to lift you up and provide support um, as you make the transition to middle school, which, which can sometimes be challenging. Second would be to stay connected to that crew, um, whether it's a socially distant meetup, whether you go for a walk, don't forget your mask, um, or video chat, play video games together, what have you, whatever you do to try to stay close to those people that mean the most to you um, and so that you can both give each other support. And then lastly, please take my advice. Avoid the drama. Avoid people that are going to be negative or be a distraction to you in the school year who don't make you feel good about yourself, um, who don't lift you up. Um, those are the people that you definitely want to try to avoid. Um, seek out the positive people and um, and with that I wish you the very very best uh, start to middle school um, if you need my support please reach out to me you can contact me at eco.teens at hclibrary.org um, if you need emotional support or if you need resources at the library, anything that will help you to make this transition smoother, I'm here for you. I've got your back. Um, again, that's eco.teens, T-E-E-N-S, at hclibrary.org. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.